Bored Apes accused of stealing logo from online drawing tutorial. Yuga Labs has nixed its Bored Ape Kennel Club logo after it was revealed that it plagiarised an image from a drawing guide called Easy Drawing Tutorial. Yuga Labs co-founder Greg Solano seemingly dismissed the revelations as claims, despite the logo looking identical to the drawing in the guide by Rono Tolanen. Yuga Labs also filed to trademark its Bored Ape Kennel Club logo in July 2021, a month after launching the collection. Many Basie holders don't seem to mind this glaring plagiarism. Indeed, many replied to the revelatory Twitter post with comments such as, quote, haters gonna hate, and, quote, bro, what the fuck, this sounds like it came right out of your ass, end quote. This response is to be expected. Board Ape Yacht Club members have been fiercely defensive of Yuga Labs' collection, specifically when plagiarism is alleged. The project was previously accused of stealing the Basie logo from the Waffen SS, the Nazi paramilitary group under the direct control of Adolf Hitler. For their part, the project's founders have also gone to great lengths to deny these claims of far-right links and sympathies. Earlier this month, in a lengthy Coindesk article titled Setting the Record Straight, Wiley Arano called out the absurd allegations, bogus claims, and conspiracy. He says, quote, give me a fucking break. I'm an Ashkenazi Jew by heritage. My co-founders are all children of immigrants, end quote. Historian Todd finds his article on Basie's far-right influences was recently pulled from Coindesk, just hours after publication. NFTs have never gotten to grips with IP issues. Despite Yuga Labs' apparent penchant for lifting the work of others, it's pretty hot when it comes to defending what it sees as its own copyrighted material. The company recently sued artist Ryder Rips for using the Basie artwork in his derivatives and profiting from it. On its website, Yuga Labs claims that owners of Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs also own their commercial rights, meaning that the artwork can be used to make money. The concepts and law of IP have been widely misunderstood in the NFT space. Owning or buying an NFT doesn't necessarily mean you own its rights. Moreover, just because an artwork is stored on the blockchain, nothing makes it fundamentally different in the eyes of the law from other works in terms of its IP rights. By law, rights and IP can only be transferred from one person to another by writing. So, technically, one can buy an NFT without any rights to its other than to hold it or sell it again. For more informed news, follow us on Twitter and Google News, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.